Hey everyone, so I thought I'd do a bit of a different video today. So I get asked quite a lot how much it costs to keep all of our animals and that can be just basically the live food for the reptiles and then veggies for the small animals and obviously the reptiles as well and then just general food products on a week to week basis. So I have quite a lot of animals as most as you might know right now. Um, so it varies week to week on the cost, depending on what we need for that week. But every week without fail, we always buy live food and we always buy veggies. And then we might need some multivitamins or calcium or something like that for the reptiles. We might need to buy gecko food. It really just depends on what we need. So I thought I would film a video this week showing you just how much I can spend in a week on basic animal products. So let's go. So starting off with our veggie shopping in Aldi, I normally do a big shop on a Saturday and then do a top up shop through the week. Aldi's the cheapest place to buy veggies from, so I just tend to go there all the time. Um, I haven't got the receipt for each individual item, but I know how much it cost altogether. So the first two things we got was just two packs of shredded kale. I got some bell peppers. Normally I would get the big bags of bell peppers but they didn't have any in so I had to get the smaller ones so this has just got a red a yellow and a green pepper this will last me two days maybe got a broccoli and then I got two bags of this crispy leaf salad I use this as a base mix for the reptiles because it's got um quite a variety in there then I got some spring greens because again everything eats spring greens got some strawberries because i like to give the animals at least one or two fresh fruits a week just to give them a bit of variety i got a butternut squash again we don't really use this that often but i like to give the animals variety so i got one of those and then in like the clearance section bit i always have a look because you never know what you might find but i just got some of these carrot batons they are due to go out of date in the next couple of days um but they're still good for the animals obviously i've got horses we go through carrots really really quickly these were 30 percent off so they're cheap anyway but it's always nice to get a bit of a bargain um, and then i also got some mint in the clearance bit as well and then some wild rocket so like i say these are due to go out of date in the next couple of days but they're still fresh, they still look really nice, and they'll just be the first thing I use for the animals. So for all of my veggie shopping for this week, it came to £9.65. So I usually spend anything between £10 to £15 a week just on fruits and veg. And then that's just on a Saturday. My main top-up shop like through the week can be anything from a couple of pounds to six seven pounds just depend on what we need to top up on throughout the week so moving on to the live food now the live food varies depends on what i've got left from the week before but generally i'd buy anything between 12 to 16 boxes a week now i have two bearded dragons two crested geckos two leopard geckos and some of them are still youngsters so they generally do eat every day um some of them eat every other day it just depends but i didn't have anything left from the previous week so i have had to do quite a big stock up this week this week i got five boxes of no sorry seven boxes of medium locust five boxes of large locust one box of small medium silent crickets three boxes of extra large locusts and then one box of wax worms and for all that it was 29 pound I've looked at bulk buying them from cheaper places, but because of I get staff discount in the pet shop where I work, um, and obviously work do a deal on these, so if you buy four boxes, it's four boxes for £7.25. By the time I've took my discount and done the deal, it works out cheaper buying them this way than buying them bulk from um, a supplier. So, of course, more stuff for the reptiles. I was running low on calcium and I ran out of crested gecko food. So I had to do a top up of that as well. So I have to buy two different types of calcium, one with D3, one without D3. Um, so the Repti calcium with D3, just there, that's by Zoomed. And then the Pro Rep Calci Dust without D3. So the one with D3 was £5.79. The one without D3 was £4.99. Then the Crested Gecko food. This is the powder. It's a Rapashi. So they eat this like five days a week and then they get bugs once or twice a week depending on how um, 
hungry they are. Last like six months, so I really don't mind buying this. This one, it was eleven ninety nine, but like I say, it does last a while, so I don't mind too much. Um, and then we needed some moss as well because I had run out of moss. So for this bag of moss, it was seven pounds fifty. So reptiles have had quite a lot of money out of me this week, but they needed it. So when they need it, we've just got to buy it. So that's a top up on them. I won't need them for a good few months. That will last me about six months, and I'll probably get a couple of months out of it as well. So. It's not too expensive when you look at it that way, but it's still an initial expense. So next up is the budgies. They needed just a general top up of food, but I also bought them some new food to try because of I've seen loads of reviews about it. So I thought I would give it a go. I just needed some general budgie food. So in work, you can basically scoop up the amount that you want and then just pay for what you buy. So for this, it was £2 and 3p. And there is a ton in there. It does last me about a month, believe it or not. That is quite cheap, in my opinion. So, got some basic budgie food. Needed some more grit. Obviously, grit helps with digestion with birds. So, I just got some more of that because we had run out. And I needed a new coop cup for the grit to go in because our coop cup broke when I was cleaning the cage out the other day. So, for the coop cup, it was 99p. And then this food was the most expensive thing I bought for the budgies, but it is EMP superior egg food for cage and aviary birds. So it can be for budgies, canaries, finches and all parrot like birds. So this is basically for optimal health. I was reading about it um, and there was a thing saying that seeds and veg on its own isn't a complete diet for birds, but... I was having a read of the back of it, and that's basically what it was saying. So you can feed this on its own if you want to. This you can either feed it dry or you can mix it up with a bit of water and feed it wet as well. But I've been looking at it for a while, and I eventually just took the plunge and bought it. So this was £5.39, but it is a kilo, and birds don't eat a lot. So hopefully that'll last us a little while. I needed a couple of boredom breakers because of we've obviously got the new piggies and the bunnies have slowly started destroying their tunnels so i thought i would get them some new boredom breakers whilst i had a bit of extra money so these were um where are they three pounds 59 a pack but just standard play balls really um water hyacinth seagrass and then rattan so i got two packs of those to split it between the bunnies and the piggies and then this week of course we also needed a top up of rabbit and guinea pig food so the guinea pigs were fed on the country value fruity nuggets i believe by the person that obviously gave them to us but i don't like that food so I've changed them to the Tiny Friends Farm. The hamsters are on it, the gerbils are on it. I've always used it for the mice. I've always used it for the rats. This just seems to be one of my favourite brands of food. I mean, I know Burgess XL is like really, really good food and um, Supreme Science Selective is really, really good food, but they're really hard to get hold of. Obviously with these, they get this, they get all their fresh fruits and veggies, they get unlimited hay, um... And they all seem to do really, really well on this. I mean, I'm not great with diets, to be honest. Like, I don't know the nutritional values of everything. Um, I'm quite good with the hamsters, but rabbits and guinea pigs, I'm not so great on. But, um, yeah, these are just a nugget-based food. Uh, so these are two kilos each. These are one ninety nine in Home Bargains. Otherwise, they're £4 in the place where I work. So, of course, I went to Home Bargains. And then I got two of the Gertie guinea pigs at £2.19 each. So that'll last me a little while. The Gertie guinea pigs are only 1.5 kilo. As I got four piggies, I will probably go through quite a lot. But I wanted to try and stock up so that I've got it. And then I can just buy a bag sort of every couple of weeks um, and just always have a supply on hand. And then, of course, the last thing I bought is just some hay. So I just got some Devon Meadow hay. This is the large pack. Um, this was £3.49. And then I got just our standard hay, which is the Timothy Rich Hay Mixed Flowers. And then the Timothy Rich Hay Dandelion and Marigold. So um, obviously having four piggies, two bunnies, we go through hay like crazy. I like to give them a variety. So along with these hays, I also bring home 
hay from the farm. I also bring home ready grass from the farm. We also have um, hay cookies. They do get quite a big variety because I feel that giving them the same thing all the time, they get bored. So I just needed a top up of these two and this one this week. So for this week alone, my like top up product shop was £86.99. And then next week, I can guarantee I'll need some more hay. I'll need dog food. Um, I'll probably need some bits and bobs for the um, hamsters. I know that I'm getting low on bedding, so I'll need some bedding. I can guarantee I never spend anything less than probably about £60 a week on the animals. This week was a little bit more because obviously we needed calcium, we needed rapashi, and we needed the moss. Um, and I obviously bought the birds some new food to try. But yes... Having a lot of animals means that you do need to have a lot of money for everything that they could ever possibly need. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for support. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye.